After 10 days of terrible experiences, some folks being forced from their homes got some much needed help today. The homeless angels have stepped in to help the folks leaving the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park. As Brian Johnson reports, their help has meant the world. After a brutal winter, breaking up the ice so Rick Horton can pull his RV out of this condemned plot is a challenge. I'm going to do what I can do, and it looks like I'm pretty close. And with the great friendship that I have with the neighbors and things, uh, it's looking good. For days, he's been trying to melt the ice and get his RV unstuck from the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park. He's one of dozens of people picking up the pieces, packing up their homes, and moving out. I expected to be here for many more years, and then all of a sudden, can't be. So what do you do? For those who have been able to move out, looting is a problem. Tim DeMond showed us the trailer where his sister was living. Hey, look, the furnace is gone. Hot water heater's gone. They ripped the wiring out of the walls. It looks like the place has been ransacked. They even took the kitchen sink. Somebody wanted to walk in here and take whatever they wanted, they could do it. I can't be here all night and all day. And as if moving in 10 days isn't hard enough, a lot of these families are out money. I'm told at least one family, when they got their tax return back, they paid six months rent. It's unlikely they'll ever see that money again. While DeMond has a place to go, his rent has nearly tripled. Went from 250 up to, what, 700 a month? Yeah, that's a heck of a jump. And a sign more challenges could be on the way for many still trying to move. In Lansing, Brian Johnson, Fox 47 News. The Ingham County Health Department wanted people out of their homes by 5 o'clock today. Tomorrow morning, officials will be checking to make sure that everyone is gone.